Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing at JS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to add the Excel data into Google Earth Pro. Also, we'll able to get the elevation of that location. So how we can able to get elevation and how we to add this file into Google Earth Pro. So for that, what we need to do, we need to save this file into CSV file format. Okay, so just click on the file, whatever your Excel file is there, just click on the file then save as then browse option is there where you want to save just need to go to that folder and here i will save as a csv file for so see this is the format we have to select after selection this okay i will add here as a csv then i'll then i'll just click on the save option and click on okay so i will go to Google Earth Pro and I will just click on the file. Then import option is there. Just click on the import. Here you will see this CSV file is added here. Just select the CSV file. Here you need to select the all file format. Okay. So once you will select the all file format, you will see this file as a CSV file. So just click on the open. So after that, you need to see this data is added here. Okay. If this data is added here, now what we can able to do, we just need to click on the next. After that, by default, it will take latitude field to the latitude and longitude field the longitude. So if you have more data in the Excel, so you need to select latitude and longitude. After that, just need, just need to click on the next. So this is the floating point. Just finish and click on yes. So style template option, I'll just click on OK. Here you will see what color you want to give. If you want to give particular color to it, you can give particular color. Okay. Or you choose random color. After that, if you want a particular icon, we can select a particular icon here. Okay. And just click on the OK. And click on the save. So I will select here. And you will see the point is added here. Okay. What are the point data we have selected? It is added here. So now we want to, we, I'm interested to know the elevation of this location. Okay. What is the elevation of this location or any particular location? If you'll go one by one and if you'll choose one by one elevation, it will take too much time. Okay. If you'll click here and you will see here, what is the elevation of that location? If you'll choose single, single point, then it will take too much time. So what you can able to do for that, you can just need to go to assign dame elevation data to coordinate. Just click here means just type here assign dame elevation data to coordinate gps visualizer so you will see this link is there so we need to click here and after that find missing elevation with gps visualizer so we need to choose a file which file we'll choose we'll choose our excel sheet so choose file so this file i will choose just click on the open so this file is attached here xls just click on the convert and add elevation. So as I have clicked here, you will see I'm getting the latitude, longitude with the elevation. Okay. I'm getting the elevation file. So you just need to download this file here. Okay. Just click on the download option. So this file will download here. So after that, you just need to go and download the GPS uh, TCX converter. Okay. Just need to download the TCX converter. Just type in the Google. TCS converter, you will see this TCX converter. So we just need to come down and here is the download option is there. You can click here. Otherwise, if you'll come here, you can just click on the download option. Once you'll click on the download option, the GPS visualizer will start download here. Okay. So I have already downloaded here. So just show in the folder. So this is the zip file. Just right click and extract this file. So once you'll extract, you will see the setup is there. So just need to click next, 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 and your TCX converter will be installed. So just, I have already installed here. I will just click on okay, and I will open the TCX converter. So after this, I will select English language here. It is already selected. Okay. So you can select English language. After that, open file. We'll open the file, which we just have downloaded. Okay. So this file, I just have downloaded. So this file I will select and just click on the open so you will see 
we are getting latitude, longitude, and altitude of that location. So now just save this file as a CSV file format, save. So where you want to save, we just need to go to location where we are working. So I will save here. in the Excel sheet, okay. So I will save altitude and just click on the save. So I will click here as a no. Okay, so this file is saved here. So just need to go to the folder where we are, where we are working. So I will click on the altitude. So after that you will see we got we have already latitude longitude in that we get an altitude. So this way we can very easily get altitude of any location if we know the latitude longitude. If we'll go here and if we'll manually do one by one, it will take too much time. So it is better that you can go to this GPS visualizer and download TCS converter and you can easily add that file. So now this file also we can able to add. So just import that altitude file I will add here. Okay. So click on the open, just click on the next. So lat long is added here. Just click on the next and finish. Yes. Okay. So color, choose random color. Yes. And save. So you can able to see the file. Okay, so it is falling in the same location. So here if I'll click on the point, okay, you will see the altitude of that location. It is saying 592. So you will getting the similar altitude at that location. Okay, 592. So this way very easily you can able to get an altitude of any location using the latitude and longitude. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Our Telegram group link is given in the description box. If you are interested, you can join. Thank you.